Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of our house renovation project. So today we will have a more or less special episode. This will be, I would say, the most disgusting experience I had on this construction site till now. <laughs> so maybe this video should be rated as adult, yeah, because this is really gross what we will see today. But I will not say so much. You will see it by your own in a few minutes, yeah. And then also this week was really exciting. So the subscriber count and also the views on this channel more or less exploded in this week. This is absolutely uh, amazing. Yeah? So from five or seven subscribers and a few 10 to 100 views, this exploded to now over 300 subscribers and I don't know how many views and whatever. I amazing. Yeah? So I want to thank you all for watching and enjoying my videos. If you have something, yeah, what you might expect, what you say, yeah, please show off more of this or please show less of this. <laughs> please write it in the comments um, so then I can adopt it a little bit to have for you a more uh, enjoyable video experience. So, but then this is for today. Um, I would say I will talk so much and wish you, <laughs> uh, yeah, every fun to, uh, for joining this video today. Mm. <laughs> But as always, first things first, so before we come to this really disgusting experience with the toilet drain pipe, we need to take care of the rest of the wall and its foundation below. So my good old Makita now takes the job again to demolish all the concrete which was used below the wall. And then you see there is always a little foundation uh, made of field stones in that case which also needs to be removed in order to yeah, have the possibility to dig out all the rest of the room. Yeah? So now you can see the uh, level of the basement yeah, with all the uh, gravel and uh, rubble and stuff. And this level is exactly the same target on yeah now the right side yeah so uh, on which I'm now working uh, only for your information this will be the utility room. This is a typical room for German houses. Here you install uh, yeah, most of the supply stuff, so like the water meter and also the electrical installation. Uh, depending on the type of heating you're using, you then have mostly the boiler uh, and everything from your house heating installed in this room. And if it's big enough, you also have something like the washing machine and your dryer and everything. This also is exactly our goal. So this all should fit into this room. So this means the wall we just demolished uh, will be built up later on, uh, maybe as a half timbered frame or um, yeah, the other possibility would uh, to do this with some clay stones. Up to now we made here no final decision, so we will see. So what you can also see, I just uh, accidentally moved the camera with the cable. <laughs> so the camera is more or less now filming uh, simply the door. And um, yeah, that sometimes happened at the beginning of my project without any uh, big experience. Yeah, you're moving the cables and yeah, <laughs> then you, you check it um, that you did a mistake. Um, here it's a nice thing. Uh, you may recognize this uh, really big empty space directly under this wall. So it looked a little bit like there uh, was maybe 100 years ago. So this foundation here made of field stones must be minimum 100, 120 or maybe 180 years old so that it was built uh, directly with the house. Um, and then maybe it's possible that there was uh, the former or I would call it the original stairway into the basement yeah? because if you imagine this basement is maybe as old as the house, then um, uh, there was a stairway on the outside of the house into the basement. And it looks like the pre-owners simply uh, throwed some soil into the hole and did not compress it properly. And here you see the result. Yeah? So then the earth will compress itself over the years and such big empty spaces below your concrete floor 
form themselves automatically and this is something you always have to avoid. So then let's uh, yeah, bring out the field stones. So in one of the last videos I said that I do not throw uh, away those field stones. So I collect them. So it's not like I'm a collector or something, but those field stones are quite uh, useful later on also maybe and we have enough space so now i put the camera on my helmet and bring them to a big pile you can see it here it's already so a big pile so all the stones i moved exactly in that way yeah, with the track dumper and uh, yeah by hand into the track dumper by hand more or less out of the track dumper and on the pile and i don't have i have absolutely no idea how many tons of stones this is uh, yeah i already collected here but this is everything i found during the work on the basement uh, so during excavating the earth so that is what I, what I said you already it was much work yeah, it was not only the earth which have to be moved out of the house so also a lot of field stones needed to be removed or moved out of the house Okay, now you maybe ask what I plan to do with all these uh, field stones. So first of all, I definitely need some for some repairs of the uh, yeah, field stone part of the house. Yeah? So definitely uh, for this we need some. And then later on, so really later, um, I want to build a new fence uh, around the property. And this, of course, should not be a normal or easy fence, yeah? So this should be something special. And this is why I want to create the pillars out of field stones and then connect the pillars with some nice oak planks. I can imagine this uh, might look really nice and would fit perfectly to the house. But that, of course, is, uh, yeah, from today's point of view, a long way down the road, yeah? So. First of all, I need to take care about the rest of the foundation, remove the rest of the field stones in order to get, uh, yeah, to, to work with my excavator again. And before we now start excavating, it's time for a small coffee break. 
and I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who have subscribed to my channel and of course everyone who is commenting, liking and recommending my videos. Okay, then let's start excavating again. So of course there are many stones uh, also hidden in the soil, but mostly now I have to remove the soil out of the house. And here you also now get the first view of our, I would say, unexpected surprise pipe, which comes from the building next to our house. And uh, let me shortly explain you the story or the problem with it. So you see the pipe in the front yeah, of the picture. So this simply is the drain pipe from the former kitchen. So this means nothing really disgusting. Yeah? So there is only a sink connected and there was, uh, yeah, of course, a dish dishwasher connected to it. So that's all. Yeah? Nothing you need to <laughs> be scary about. But um, in the other building next to our house, there is a toilet. And um, of course, we used this toilet during the complete time here. Yeah? And we were thinking that there was simply some parallel drain pipe from the building to the treatment plant. Yeah? So it should be a normal installation. And um, it is now several weeks or maybe months ago that I disconnected the, uh, yeah, this exactly this uh, drain pipe um, during the installation of the last floor slab. Yeah, this is now here on the right side of the wall. And um, yeah, we were thinking this is no problem, yeah, because there would be only the kitchen connected. The kitchen isn't anymore, so we can cut off the pipe. But then we discovered this pipe here, <laughs> which uh, we now identify as the sewer pipe or the drain pipe from the other building, which was also connected to the pipe we disconnected months ago. And of course, we used the toilet and this means the complete pipe you can see here in the picture, this is about three meters, is completely filled up with our own feces from the last few months. Yeah, thank you very much. And as you may understand, um, I definitely don't want to get in contact with this, but it doesn't help. Yeah, so this, uh, uh, yeah, this pipe must be removed. So um, I use my mini excavator for this job and you can now see if I start moving um, the, the pipe so uh, the feces and the sewing water flows out of it and I can tell you guys the smell. <laughs> yeah, be glad that you can't smell the video so it was really disgusting. So this is why I use also the earth. You can see it here. I, I put it down and around and stuff so that uh, the, the water uh, gets into the earth because I know that uh, in the next hours I will remove the earth from the room and then hopefully get also rid of the smell.
So now I broke down the pipe into several pieces and there is no other way to take them by hand out of the house. Yeah, but one more or less disgusting uh, uh, thing, of course, here you see all the, the earth, but this I can excavate. This is nothing really special, but here, uh, unfortunately, accidentally more or less i uh, destroyed the pipe and this splashes a little bit <laughs> directly to the wall and everywhere around and yeah okay yeah I, I i think i do not have to tell you anymore be glad that you smell nothing here so i removed the pipe um this was definitely the most disgusting experience i had here up to now in this house because of course it drops to my shoes and to my socks and I was completely smelling like shit. <laughs> and then as fast as possible, I excavate the earth out of the room so that I can get rid of the, the smell. And uh, yeah, thankfully that worked. Yeah, so on the next day, um, there was nothing uh, more or less left from the smell of the feces. The only thing which remains was this, I would call it memento shit splash on the wall behind. <laughs> so then it's time to remove the, yeah, uh, the stairway, the old stairway, which reaches down to the basement. But there was, uh, I would say, the, the next uh, surprise. Yeah. So my idea was to simply, yeah, use my Makita. Yeah. Then maybe one hour and I would have teared down the complete stair. But uh, surprise, surprise, here the pre-owners, uh, for whatever reason, used several tons of really hard concrete to build this staircase. And you can maybe see it here, um, how small pieces yeah, I, I tear down here from this real big concrete chunk. And in this case, this took so long that I was not able to do this on the same day, yeah, because it is uh, it's not only the tear down of this concrete chunk, it is, only, uh, it is also that you have to pick up all the pieces, transport them out of the house and stuff. yeah. So this will take a while and so we continue with this in the next video, I would say. Yeah, and that was it for today, ladies and gentlemen. So this was really the most uh, disgusting experience with this uh, old and completely filled up drain pipe here in this house. I hope I have never do need to do this again. Uh, so <laughs> I hope the best for it. So uh, now this episode is gone. We will see in the next video uh, to excavate all the earth then out of this area. Then I need to take care of this old stairway which uh, yeah reaches down to the basement. And um, this needs to be demolished too and some other stuff here and there. We will see this in the next episode. So at this point I definitely want to thank you all for participating here in my video for supporting my channel yeah for subscribing or uh, writing some comments and stuff um, thank you all this was an amazing week as I mentioned at the beginning yeah uh, so the subscribers count is raising and uh, yeah this is quite fun so <laughs> thank you very much and um, yeah I would say thanks for watching the video if you have something write it down in the comment section below and then we will see us hopefully in the next video again bye bye everybody Thank <laughs> you.